where he'd take his belt off, wrap it around his hand, and just whack people with the button. And I don't know where that came from, because he wasn't actually a physically aggressive guy. So we're sitting in the speakeasies, and Paul Weller's coming in with his wife. Now, if you should have just waited a second and asked me, I would have told him that Paul Weller can well look after himself. His dad, John, was in that spot and all that. Shoot's gone out like a lunatic, with the boots flying. Paul yeah, Weller's cracked him a few punches, but he had a glass in his hand at the time, Paul. And it cut Sid on the face. There was a bit of screaming. I jumped in between them, and Sid's there. He's cut, he's got a glass in his face, and Paul and his wife, I'm judging really apologised to him, and they went off. And I said to Sid, what, why did you attack him like that? He said, because he said that we nicked in the city and took it into holidays in the sun. I said, well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> One night I went round and saw Sid, and there was a cat that was in the flat. And for no reason, he decided to put a noose around the cat. 